So let's select uh, show pass through and select hide pass through. Select show pass through and hide pass through. So welcome back to Unreal Mayu. So uh, we are going to uh, work on pass through today in our Unreal project and how to work with it. And we'll create a smooth transition to uh, get into the pass through mode and uh, uh, normal mode. Uh, before going into the video, uh, guys, I want you to support me by purchasing my Udemy course. Uh, it is available in the description with the discount coupon uh, uh, included. So let's go. Uh, just give me support by purchasing that Udemy course. Uh, whoever interested uh, to develop uh, content with uh, uh, Meta XR, so you guys can go and purchase that course. Uh, let's get into the video. Uh, I'm using Unreal Engine 5.5.4 with version 77 of Meta XR plugin installed. So I'm taking the VR uh, template given by Unreal Engine by default, and uh, I'm naming it. Uh, I'm naming it as uh, Pass Through <coughs> Transition. Pass Through Transition. Okay. Pass Through Trans. Uh, I'll attach this uh, in my Patreon. Uh, if you can, guys, support me and uh, you can download this uh, project. Uh, now I'm going to the project settings. Okay, first I'll go to the plugins, and then I'm enabling Meta XR. Ideally, this works for uh, all the next versions also. Uh, but uh, if there is anything changed if you feel like uh, then keep a comment i'll update uh, i'll i'll so soon i'll uh, update the uh, new video uh, now go to the project settings inside meta xr uh, check the color space to quest one and here uh, for the pass through as we are working on pass through make sure this is pass through is enabled and that's it now if i go to vr pawn uh, <coughs> here uh yep one minute where is the menu okay so i want to uh, make this uh, show and uh, hide pass through when the left menu button is clicked so when one if i click once uh, uh, show pass through will be there and if I click uh, uh, next time it will be hide pass through so basically uh, I'm going to uh, use this input control X and uh, control V I'm bringing it out let's delete this and here I'm going to add a flip flop uh, we'll create a function called show pass through and another function called hide pass through let's call them one by one show first time it will show the pass through and next time hide pass through okay uh, and now let's go and create a material so basically what we are going to do is uh, we are going to add a spear around the camera vr camera so whenever uh, the show pass through is called that spear is having a material so it will convert it into the pass through material and uh, uh, if i cl uh, click it again the again this vr world will be seen so uh, let's create a material for that go to the materials uh, let's create a material uh, uh, we'll call this material as a poke a hole like or a poke transition poke transition and now uh, change the blend mode to translucent shader model unlit two sided and also if you go down to okay pixel depth offset we need to change it to legacy and also uh, right only alpha so basically we are uh, changing the alpha uh, playing with the alpha in this material 
for that so our poke hole material poke uh, material is ready but we need a, a transition uh, to be driven from our uh, blueprint so let's create uh, this blueprint uh, this uh, material so local position uh, get that break float three components and uh, let's add 160 I previously worked on this material so I know the values uh, default values but and uh, change it to 20 um, saturate subtract here uh, we'll control this with uh, alpha so right click constant uh, convert into the parameter called alpha divide and then saturate again so we are dividing it because uh, we need to get uh, some smooth border for that uh, again create a constant convert to parameter if you want you can convert into parameter or else uh, leave it uh, the default one smooth border change it to uh, 0.05 mm, yep and uh, 1 minus we are going to invert it yep that's it uh, you can see this PR is uh, um, if I keep one see so so this black one is uh, opacity basically so the mate our material is prepared let's click apply and save it now as I mentioned uh, to the camera we are keeping a uh, spear around it so for that spear I'm going to engine in the engine you can see get the basic shape uh, in that you can get the spear and uh, let me copy it into our VR template uh, let me create a new folder called meshes and paste it uh, I'll just rename it as uh, sm underscore pass pass through sphere let's apply the material which we created poke transition let's apply that poke transition material here which we created now and then mm, let's go to the camera we'll add this static mesh um, and this static mesh as some underscore uh, pass through spear basically we can use the default uh, uh, spear which is given by engine I just want to copy it into the my uh, content folder uh, uh, you can use it if you want by default and now come down here if you can see uh, I don't want any gravity or anything um, that uh, objects uh, camera so I'm going to uh, also collision no or no collision can character step on no generate overlap events no <laughs> yeah and also if you go down okay for now we'll leave it like that uh, like it now let's go to uh, show pass through function so we are going to initialize the pass through for that we need to get the pass through subsystem um, pass through subsystem so when this is called we need to initialize persistent pass through for that if you go here you need to select it as underlay by default it will be the overlay once this pass through is initialized then we need to animate the material of uh, this static mesh so before uh, getting this uh, animating this material we need to make it a dynamic material instance so that we can change it in now let's go to the event begin play we'll get the sequence and uh, get this and uh, create dynamic 
material instance and the material will be pork uh, pork transition and add it into the variable like uh, I'll be adding it as a pass through okay. pork dine inched and now we can get it here and we can change it before that uh, to make it animated we need to create a timeline so create a timeline um, let's create a float track and name it as alpha uh, we'll add uh, two keys one key will be at uh, 0 and 0 and the next key will be at the 0.5 seconds value will be 1 uh, click on these two so that uh, you can uh, this will be aligned and now if you can go here you can see this alpha track so we will get this and uh, set scalar parameter value uh, if you go to the spoke transition material we are changing this value so get this name uh, and paste it here and connect the alpha value here connect connect that's it now if the if someone click uh, again if the user click the same menu button again it should be hidden so reverse will be called and that time we should uh, uh, destroy this initialized pass through so that uh, we need to get uh, the direction so uh, switch so this basically gives forward or backward direction so in forward direction no need to do anything but in the backward direction we need to get this uh, pass through subsystem again and destroy persistent pass through when the backward happened so we'll call this on finished okay now let's see how it runs on vr device um, let me connect my meta quest and uh, uh, do the recording again I built the APK and uh, it failed uh, then I made two changes in the project one is uh, go to the project settings and here I forgot to add the supported meta quest devices uh, so I'm using meta quest 3 uh, you guys if you are using any of these uh, you can get uh, you can simply uh, plus uh, uh, click on this plus it will uh, by automatically add the device and then also in this VR pawn go to the timeline here I forgot to change the length by default it will be 5 but uh, we need uh, it to be 0 0.5 uh, because our maximum is 0 0.5 now and now it, it's working fine so let me launch this application and uh, I'll show you this what is happening. I think you can see right. Okay, so when I click on this menu button. Uh, animation of pass through is happening and again simply I'm getting into my level but the thing is once I uh, click on pass once I uh, in pass once I click on uh, show pass through uh, I'm feeling like I'm not in the game anymore but uh, I don't want it like this so let me add a basic menu or something a uh, widget so so that uh, whenever user uh, is in the pa show pass through mode uh, like uh, he's in pass through mode he, he don't feel like I, he's no no more in the game so let me add uh, a widget let's create a widget so in the vr template i'm going to create a new folder called widgets uh, here go to user interface uh, widget blueprint user widget and uh, w underscore uh, sample widget so in this uh, let's create it as a custom uh, width to be 800 and uh, height to be 500 
let's go to let me uh, I'm having another project here open so I'm checking yeah so let's add a border let me add uh, a text to it in this text uh, let me show it like a show maybe you guys can keep uh, some buttons like show pass through hide pass through in, as per your game but as of now i'm leaving it as uh, simply with uh, a menu or widget smooth transition uh, because it is not visible i'm changing the color of it let's uh, recenter it and uh, change the font size to 60 and uh, keep it center that's it and now let's go to the home um, here in the blueprints i'm creating another blueprint class mm, so i'm keeping it as a sample ppm as a sample widget here widget let's select the widget we created now in this widget class so sample widget and draw size is 800 by 500 now uh, the thing is we need to change this blend mode by default blend mode is masked if we keep it like this uh, then we can't see the menu again uh, so change it to the transparent now you can see this widget if we placed it into the level okay, it is rotated that side it is and change the scale to 0 0.3 ah, this is fine for me So if we keep some button like a uh, revert back or something so user can interact with this button so that he can get back to the game that's my idea behind it so uh, we changed uh, that uh, blend mode to transparent and now go to this uh, static mesh around your camera and here in the rendering in the advanced you can go here uh, to the transparency sort property change it to minus one so then it will render that uh, widget around uh, widget uh, so that it, we can see it in the uh, level so now if uh, so now i'll build the apk and i'll run it and show it back again uh, we'll come back i'm back in the application again so you guys can see uh, the application is running so when i click on the menu button uh, I can see the my room and if I click uh, menu button again, I can see the VR world So this is what I'm telling like if you go here So if you keep some button to the uh, Like uh, enter me into the VR world. So if you click on that you can get into the VR world like that. So uh, Once again, uh, I request you guys uh, to please keep support me uh, by purchasing the Udemy course uh, which I will be keeping uh, the link in the description uh, so if you can go through that uh, link like you will be getting the maximum discount uh, as a instructor instructor discount uh, applied it there so thank you guys